gone, but we are aboard Tempest Fuji and we're out on a little evening session. Uh, just a couple of hours we've got Gavin and his dad, Gary on the back. And sort of the purpose of this is to show you guys what sort of things we can get done in a couple of hours. Um, this will actually be a bit shorter than the evening session that's down the river I'll be offering. Um, it's about half six, quarter to seven now, so really we've got about two hours worth of business. Have a go at uh, normally I'd be looking to start these um, sort of five o'clock leave from the marina um, in order to get sort of three, four hours of fishing before dark. But it's uh, going to head down the river store tonight. Uh, one of the benefits of fishing this area is that with the two angles of the rivers, normally um, with, with a lot of the wind directions you can always find somewhere sheltered and somewhere that will hold the fish. So we're going to go down the store tonight, we have a couple of marks down there, we've got some ragworm. Uh, I'm going to try out another little bait as well, which I'll show you. So we'll, uh, we'll give it a go and see if we can get a couple of little bitty bass out. So it's going to be fun. A bit of light action here, as per normal. But can't wait. And it's just heading out. Heading out, got that feeling, that little buzz. But um, I think if you don't have, you should probably uh, stop fishing for a little while and take up another hobby or, or try a different style of fishing just to regain that love for it. But can't wait to get out. The tide's on its way out. See on these posters we come out shortly. Really pushing. The first stop off is we've seen a lot of birds working, and we are now attempting to drift through the middle of them. We've got the boys out the back on their lure rods, and quite about eight foot of water. I'm not sure if you can make out the birds. They are quite spaced out at the moment, but we will see what Gav can do on his lure rods. Gav's up the front there on the, on the lure deck on the lure with deck. his life jacket on. Safety first. What a platform to fish on. Well, Gav's still up the front. He is giving it a go with his lures, but not, not anything hitting them so far. But looking at the colour of the water, can't say we're too surprised. So we've had a little look on um, Shade Reliefing on Navionics and uh, we're going to go head over to a, it's not a mark, but it is just a, it's a spot that we're going to go give a go based on the contours of the, the bottom of the river and it, uh, it looks like it should hold fish because it's similar to the other marks that we've got in the river. So fingers crossed, we'll snap a few out and anchor. Not a lot of weed in the river either, so that's good. First cast, Gav's already a little bite. <coughs> little fish on, Gav? I think so, a little strongly. Ah. I was going to get Look at the speed this tide's running through. Racing through, so we've all got <laughs> light rods. The keeper on this one. Like Gary's just said he's going to get the keeper. He's calling it. There's a bit of weed <coughs> through here, though. <laughs> <laughs> that one's bait, I think. Bit of fun on the light. Where gear. there's little ones, there's big ones. Gab's gone again, second cast. <laughs> second? Third, third cast. cast, sorry, he's had two little schoolies. And now he's got this one. Hey, listen here, mate. Don't so that is the shallower fish. shallower ground. Is it? Get out past this side there. It is the shallower ground. Fresh bait, cast out sideways now. Give it a go. They're taking it on the drop. They can literally chip that as soon as they hit the floor. Well yours is drop hitting and then going round, isn't it? Yeah. A bit better, isn't it? I don't know. Just a bit of tide, mate. Just take it. Ah, oh, oh, little fighter, look at it go. Look at it go. All right, mate. Tiny little fish with the fight these things give. Yeah. <laughs> I can only imagine. What a glorious evening this is. Five or six bass caught so far. One edible crab by myself, which just fell off the end. Um, Gav's just got another bite there. That's the thing about these bass on light gear. They are so much fun. That's what it's all about. And you've got to fight for the little ones. Oh, hello. That might be a better one for Gav there. That is a better one, isn't it? Yeah, it is. A little bit of a fight up. Just woken up a little bit. Just a little bit of a scrap. That's the good thing about light gear. Come and have some fun, people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at oh, oh, there it goes. That weren't a keeper. Just anyway. a bit of fun. 
There you go. Just a little slappy slappy. Gary's in one, we've strapped him into the fighting chair. <laughs> That's it. Eight to twelve, eight to twelve pound class rods. Little schoolie bass in the river. All good fun. Especially for someone who's not had a fish in a while. Tony Lifter, give in. Yeah. Yay. What's that? First bass in two years. Two years. First bass in two years. First Happy days. Fish in two years. Well done. Well done, mate. Oh, and mine's going there. Calm down, little fella. That was a good bite on that one. Pleasure, mate. Any time. Even the skipper can have fun on his boat. <laughs> you got to fight through the small ones to find them. You know, into another one, Dad. Yeah. I'm fire. Once again, Ed putting us on the bass. Dad's got the smallest one of the night. <laughs> <laughs> you can do that one yourself, look. That one won't hurt you. <laughs> You're right now. I'll do it, Dad. Let me get that off. Well, something else that um, just, just brought in, just brought an edible crab in, then bought one of these, which is a, a devil's toenail. Very, very old. Little mollusky thing. They do grow quite big, and they sort of grow year on year on each other. They're quite cool, really. Lovely job. Absolutely spot on. The only thing we've got against us is the weed in the water. You can see we've had a series of high tides over the last week or so, and it is just ripping this weed off the high ground and bringing it out. But smaller size next week, so hopefully it'll have cleared out a little bit and the water will be a bit clearer. But what a way to spend an evening yet again on the beautiful river store. Can't grumble at that at all, can you? Especially when you have a little look back and you've got a bite on your rod. We've just had a little move now, and if you can see a line there with Gary's rod, there's a little rip. So it's underneath, there's a big dip in the in the seabed essentially. That's rolling and rolling, so hopefully one of these little baits are gonna get caught up in that. There'll be some of these bigger fish feeding. Gary's just ripped off. That just tore off. Just hold it, hold it steady, because that is gone. It's still got it there? No, it's still there. The fish is there. Yes. That Look was that. a good bite. That is a great bite. And that took line, so take it easy. I'll sort it out then. Gab's on the net duties. You take that take steady, it steady, mate. You're going to get up. He's getting up. He's out of the fighting chair. He's out of this chair and everything. Take your time. Well done, Edward. Where's she gonna come? Take it easy, that drag's setting it down. Yeah, it is. See how much drag you've got on that drag. That's good. This is a good fish, so. It's got only a little bit of weed as well, so it's all fish under there. Yes. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Oh, no, that's a really good fish, Dad. Yes, boy. Drift it in. You run across this. Yes! Well done, <laughs> <laughs> You've got your first nice Canadian fish. And that is a, look at the size of that. <laughs> well done, mate. Appreciate it. Look at that. Ed, Ed done it again. You want to have a line there? It's all right, I'm holding it up, trying to get his face up. Ed done it again. Another crack. Every out. trip, look. I'm going to hold it for my dad, because obviously you can't get... I'll get the you chances are getting spined. Look at that. Uh, sit your bum down. Sit down. Quality. Ed done it again. Well done, boys. <laughs> Brilliant. Well done, Dad. Made my night, you have in. Well done, mate. Well, you caught it. Nice thick yeah, you fish got as well. Out, yeah. Really thick fish. 
Beautiful. And it has deep hooks, so I'm unfortunately yeah, I don't think we're gonna get an L. It's definitely big enough, isn't it? Uh, yeah, you know, that's a capable size, but what's gonna happen is watch the little that's what she's that is literally like, <laughs> that is swallowed yeah. that unfortunately. Well, come for the table anyway, will it? It will be. Well, that's your lot. We had a back in the lock now. Boat is running absolutely spot on. Just setting out now for how I wanted to fish and couldn't have been happier you know, for Gary to get on board and get himself a decent bass. Just released the lock. That's what's coming through now. But hopefully this video gives you a little sample of what's going to be going on in the evening trips. So it's only a uh, two hour trip really. Uh, but the evening trips will be off and will be uh, probably starting about five o'clock and then coming in nine, probably past nine, something like that. Tide dependent. Um, but it's a little way of getting out of the water and uh, won't break the bank, I promise you. <laughs> I'll see you again.